five historical games that you simply must know. Hello everyone and welcome back. What's up guys? So today we will observe the most beautiful tactics in chess world so many years ago. Are you ready? You know, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell for everything to get notification for any video that I'm uploading. So come on, let's start. Okay, so what about the first, the first example that we have today here? We have with the black pieces, Akiva Rubinstein. So I really want you to stop the video now, think by yourself, which move can you play in this particular position? You know, it's a beautiful tactic and it's very, very difficult to see. So I really want you to challenge yourself and, you know, to, to do your best, maybe, to solve this problem. So let's do it. I will give you five seconds. Okay, so with the black pieces, we are playing the move Rook takes c3. What a move! The queen is under attack, the bishop is under attack, and now we are sacrificing another rook. Unbelievable! What's the point? So let's start. If g takes h4, if he's taking the queen on h4, we are playing just unbelievable move. Rook to d2. What a move. All our pieces are under attack. The knight, the rook, the bishop, the rook. All, only this bishop on b6 is not under attack. You can imagine such position. And the point is just after queen takes d2, bishop takes e4 check. Queen g2 of course is coming. And now rook to h3. Quiet move, but just winning the game. The next move will be rook takes h2 with checkmate in a spot. So, for example, queen takes e4, rook takes h2, it's a checkmate. Of course, bishop d4 just taking it, and after it will be a checkmate. So, just black is winning absolutely after sacrificing the queen and another rook and another rook. Unbelievable. What what will be after bishop takes b7? Just rook takes e2. With rook takes h2, with any, you know, any any move for for white to, to avoid from this checkmate. Very fast and winning. So after rook c3, what white can do? So for example, bishop c3 is also losing after bishop takes e4 check, queen takes e4 and queen h2 checkmate immediately. Of course, after rook f3, bishop takes, queen takes, and now queen takes h2, we checkmate. So black is just winning, right? What do we have also? I think also bishop b7 is one move here, but I think just rook takes g3, right? Rook takes g3 with the next move will be rook h3, We'll take the pawn on h2 with checkmate immediately. You know, the black pieces are just brilliant. The knight here is doing a great job. The queen here, the rook, the bishop, and also this rook combining everything is just a game over for white. So yeah, rook takes c3, this is the move. And I know, and I believe in you, that you solve this problem. Let's go for another one. Come on. Let's do it. So we are with white pieces in this position. This game was um, between Nigel Short, Grandmaster Nigel Short, one of the best in the history of England, against Jan Timan, also so strong player. And this is the position. And I really want you to stop the video also and think by yourself how white can win this position. And you know, it's just amazing, amazing solution. So stop the video, I will dance, and we will continue. And yes, we are coming to solve this problem, and now Nigel Short understand that he has a queen very good located, this rook is doing a great job, also this rook and also this knight, but how can we give checkmate here? And now Nigel Short realized that the only piece that is not working in this position, the, the king! 
Let's bring the king to the checkmate. King h2, king g3, king f4, king g5, king h6, and queen g7. Checkmate because black cannot do nothing, right? King h2, brilliant move by Nigel Short. You know, when we are attacking uh, our opponent, we are not playing, you know, with the king, right? How can we attack with the king? But in this situation, we are attacking with the king. So king h2, rook c8, king g3, king, rook e8, king f4, king g5, and black just resigned the game after king coming to g5 to h6 with checkmate in a spot so brilliant just amazing win by nigel short it's a very beautiful plan that he uh, you know succeeded to 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 put it on the board brilliant nigel short one Jan Timan zero let's do another one come on we can do it so with the black pieces we have here what a position okay you know what in such position you must think by yourself so i will dance as always and you will think come on okay so the queen is under attack and black has exchanged you know uh, white has exchanged up right because we have two knights two bishops and white has two bishops and two one knight and a rook up so exchange for white but how can we win this position so in this you know brilliant brilliant solution i must show it rook takes c4 we are sacrificing our rook and after e takes d5 just rook g4 check queen g2 rook takes g2 and this of course is game over very soon after king f1 knight g4 i think and yeah black is just winning the game on a spot also i think yeah rook h rook h2 also because rook h1 is a checkmate immediately and of course after king h1 just rook is coming rook g6 rook g5 rook g4 of course and checkmate uh, and black is winning so after rook takes c4 white needs to take this rook with a pawn b takes c4 and now he's playing the move queen to h5 with the threat of playing queen g4 check and of course it will be a mate so white should be play bishop to f4 and now he's playing the move knight to g4 you know the plan here is to bring the bishop to c5 and to attack this pawn on f2 and of course this pawn on h2 in some ideas right and let's see how it happened so bishop e2 and now knight d to e5 is bringing all the pieces to attack it's just amazing to see wow 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 knight d to e5 h3 and now black is playing you know just amazing move bishop c5 and the point is that after h takes g4 of course queen h1 checkmate immediately after bishop takes f3 i just think knight takes f3 maybe there is something better i think just knight f3 and after king g2 just knight takes f2 maybe or knight h4 maybe right it seems losing it seems losing i think ju just knight h4 king g1 and knight f2 and queen f3 and yeah it just game over um yeah black is just winning this position unbelievable without you know only two pieces for two rooks you know unbelievable just unbelievable position to to win but in this position white played the move bishop to g3 very very you know um simple because he wants to defend this pawn on f2 and now black is playing the move knight takes f2 bishop takes f2 of course queen g5 check the only move for white is to play king to h2 and now queen f4 check after king g1 just queen g3 check queen g2 and queen takes g2 we checkmate of course after queen g3 there is no possibility for white to take this queen because of this diagonal so yeah it's just game over and after um yeah queen f4 check bishop g3 of course this is the main move here but now he's playing the move bishop to g1 sacrificing another piece after king g1 of course queen g3 queen g2 queen takes g2 we checkmate and after queen takes g1 knight to g4 another sacrifice unbelievable this h takes g4 queen h6 check bishop h4 the only move and queen takes h4 we checkmate with queen and a bishop unbelievable we are down two rooks and we're giving a checkmate what a game wow 
Unbelievable. It was like 81 years ago. Wow. Let's do another one. Come on. So in this position, white is playing and you will think, I know you will stop the video now and the move is just beautiful. You know, white understand that the queen is doing great job. The rooks are doing great job. This knight is fine. This bishop is fine. But this bishop is not in his best. Where he will be in the best? In this diagonal. So let's bring it there. C5. B takes e5, we are sacrificing pawn and now bishop to c4 check, king h8, rook h4 with any threat, you know what, queen h7 check, knight h7, rook takes h7, king takes and rook h3 checkmate, for example, let I show you, queen b2, queen h7, knight takes, rook takes, we are sacrificing another rook, King takes h7 and rook h3. We checkmate because king g6 cannot be played because of this pawn. And king g8 because this bishop. This diagonal is very, very important. So white is winning. Okay, so c5, bishop c4, rook h4. Now g5 was played. Bishop takes g5, rook g7. Now bishop takes f6. Amazing move. Bishop takes f6. And now another time we have this tactic. Queen takes h7. Of course, after rook takes h7, rook g8, checkmate immediately. And after knight takes h7, rook h7, check. Of course, king takes h7, rook h3, check. Bishop h4, rook takes. We checkmate on the board with rook and a bishop. Amazing position to see. Unbelievable this. Let's go for the last one. So we are in this position. Black side to play and what we have here you must think about this brilliant brilliant solution so you can stop the video don't forget it so we have queen against queen so we have a piece up right this knight is a piece up but we have here uh, you know this queen is under attack and also this rook it seems like a lot of moves are winning because g takes h3 is not kind of of threat because of knight f3 right and we have a fork but the move here is just brilliant and i really wanted to show to you it queen to g3 what a move this queen can be you know can be taken with the f pawn with h pawn with queen but everything is losing after h takes g3 92 we checkmate immediately after f takes g3 92 king h1 and rook takes f1 we checkmate and after queen takes g3, knight e2 check, king h1, knight takes g3. And of course, after f takes, rook takes f1, we checkmate. And after king g1, just knight e2, I think. Yeah, king h1 and rook c3, for example. And black is winning absolutely on this position. And end game with peace up. So ladies and gentlemen, this was five, the most important tactics in chess history. What? A video right do you agree with me press the like button subscribe my channel and also comment below your ideas and your thought during this video thank you very much see you soon bye bye